Hello everybody. Um, I've been looking into Zig recently and one of the things about Zig is that it doesn't have um, interfaces built into the language but allows you to build them yourself. Um, and it took me a while to get my head around how that works so I thought I'd show you an example of that using a language which I'm happier to use. If I can write it more fluently I'm going to use Go to do that. Go of course does have interfaces but it will show you the basic idea of how to do interfaces in a language which doesn't have interfaces. So let's say you have two different classes or structs. Let's say uh, let's have a simple example with as ever a car, um, and a car has a couple of things like uh, which gear it's in, and it has an RPM for the motor, which is also an int. And let's have let's say we have a function on the car get speed, which returns an int. Let's just make it easy. Return c dot gear times c dot rpm divided by I don't know thousand, whatever. Who cares? Ah, it's pm small. Okay, and let's say we have another um, vehicle, a bike. Um, and let's say this also has a, an RPM, but it's a, a pedal speed, a pedal frequency, which is going to be an int. And let's say it's got something else. Um, let's say it's got a slope it's going on, which is going to be in a float 64 or something. And this is not a particularly good example, but let's say we've got a um, let's not call it get speed, let's call it something else. Let's call it speed. I'm going to turn it back and we're going to say speed is equal to um, b dot pedal frequency um, times 1 minus b dot slope. Say so something like that and then we're going to have to turn this into, uh, make sure we got an int out of this in the end. Um, so something like that may well work. I hope it does. Let's see if we can get this to run now. So we've got um, bike is equal to uh, bike uh, pedal frequency is 34 and slope is 0 0.1 format.printf um, bike. Uh, let's just print all of it at the moment. Uh, uh, bike. Good. Um, we need a um, format here. Oh, wait, otherwise it won't work. Let's see if that works. It's not happy with frequency because I can't spell frequency. Okay, so go run main.go. We get our bike. Good. And let's do a car as well. Let's print bike.speed. See if I got that right or if I've made a mistake. Seems to work. Good. Um, let's get our car as well. Car is equal to our car. Um, gear is, let's say, 3 and RPM is 4000. Uh, probably a bit high. Car speed. Car dot get speed, I called it. Okay. Uh, let's line these up so they look good. Good. And see if I got that right. I got it right. Hurrah. Okay, so let's say we have a function which prints speed. Um, speed. Uh, let's call it something different just to make it clear that there's no magic going on here. You'll see why later. Prince Velocity. And this takes a vehicle with some sort of type. And the question is what do you put in this type? What you'd usually do is you define an interface. Um, a speeder, something like that. Uh, would be an interface and you'd have a method speed which would give an integer sorry, give an integer back. 
This would be the standard way of doing this in Go. And you'd make the car a speed method rather than a get speed, the bike would already be okay. And then this prints velocity would take a speeder here and print it. Let's say you don't have interfaces in your language. What do you do then? And one of the solutions you can have is you can have a type, um, and let's call it has speed struct. And what this has is this has a it has a method on it, get speed. Uh, and this is a function which returns an integer. And now you can say what I'm going to take here is has speed. Now you just do um, format.printf speed um, and what you call here is v comma sorry a comma dot and a comma there um, get speed and this will now compile it won't yet use it and it does compile her up uh, so now you just need a way to get a has speed from a bike or from a car so let's make a couple of functions to do this func bike to has speed it takes a bike and it returns a has let's make it a point to has speed um, return and now I just create an instance of has speed and get speed is um, a func I oh, don't know it's just b dot speed that should do it and func car to has speed takes a car and it returns a has speed and our point to has speed has speed uh, get speed is um, c dot get speed so what I'm doing here let's just make sure it works before I explain what I'm doing here uh, prints velocity can't write I um, still can't write now I can write car dot uh, sorry car to has speed car let's see if this works or have I broken something it works cool I can do the same thing for the bike bike to has speed bike so what I've done here Let's go up here and have another look, look at this, a little bit further up. Okay, so what I've done here is I've defined a new type. A type here, a class, a structure, depending upon the language you're using, which has the parameters, just the properties which I need. In this case, I've defined it, it has methods. And in order to do this, your, your language has to support first class methods. So this is really a thing, it's a parameter, this get speed. It has the type of a function which returns an integer. So you need first class functions for this. And then I just say, okay, well, if I'm going to make a has speed from a car, this function get speed is going to be the car's get speed because the car has a get speed method. But if I want to get a has speed from a bike, its function get speed has got to be bike speed. And I think they call this V tables. Um, in zip um, uh, uh, in zig and this is a way of doing interfaces okay I hope that was interesting um, for people who took some time to get into the idea of how to do that in zig um, or in any other language that doesn't have interfaces um, yep thanks a lot bye